Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So as you can probably hear, my voice is not in the greatest shape, but I'm still going to record this because we're doing some meme tryharding in Arena, so let's see how many matches this will take, but our aim is to stay in tier 21, and I've already gotten the scouts on scores, and it looks like if I roll basically close to my max rolls and get max bonus kills, then I should be able to stay in. So we're using Baruka this week, built her up just for this week, but in general she'll definitely be a lot more useful during fire seasons for arena assault, so overall not, not a loss, like just a waste of resources for me, she'll definitely, she's definitely a solid unit, so we went all out, this is as many Baruka as I had, I originally had a 4 star merged one, but I'm um, definitely committed to building her up, because her weapon refine is pretty decent, uh, if it was absolute, completely permanent, like you didn't have to be at above 50% HP, it would have been a lot better, but it's still pretty decent, uh, res is a big problem this week for me, and mages and range units in general, so there's that problem, and as you can see here, we score 736 to 750. So we're going to be aiming for at least 746s, and ideally along the way we pick up some 748s and such. That's a nice start though, um, because I don't think 3,790 will cut it this week. You have to go slightly higher, I think. Um, Alright. So this, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yes. Fionn's definitely gonna have to help out there. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, big problem, of course, is everyone is Baruka's res is not amazing, and I have invested a bin to attack. Like we're running attack tactic, res tactic, all that stuff. So let's see what we can get out of this. Um, I suspect we're gonna get absolutely memed out the window by legendary Tiki. Or fallen Tiki, that's not legendary. We'll start out with this. Uh, we're just gonna go for the Ephraim bait, pretty much. He's gonna go for a Flame Sigmund Gale Force play, though. I don't like that. Let's see, 36, 39, so we can pick up the double on him. Um, question being, of course, if we can actually pick up the one round KO. Now I think we can, we get, a, we get quite a bit of attack, so let's do this. Go for this, soak this, able to stall time a little bit, so that's nice. Fallen Tiki's gonna be a nightmare. Um, we don't actually double. I obviously missed something. Oh wait, even speed wave. All right, mistake on my part there. Fallen Tiki's coming in. That's not great for us. Um, hmm. I am kind of thinking about just baiting here, honestly. I don't have very many options in terms of taking out Tiki. But it's probably a better idea to not do that. I don't know. Uh, we're probably going to have to scrap this match, honestly. This is not looking very good at all. Um, hmm. I'm going to buff probably Baruch. Well, it doesn't actually matter. She's buffed with Res Tactics, so this is gonna suck. But we know she's going on the defense tile. So that's the only thing we have going for us there. It's actually not too bad. So this, the <laughs> we actually don't die. That's great. Um, we have to abuse defense tiles so hard. 
I'm honestly thinking about just sliding over here this way. So let's do that. Just keep falling Tiki chilling there. Rook is actually doing quite a bit of damage because we all know Solitary Dream debuffs <laughs> Kappa. Uh, debuffs Legendary Tiki 24-7. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. That's okay. We are doing like 20 damage there. Or even more that way. Hmm. I might actually just go for that. This view arm isn't killing. Um, let's see. The charges are nice, so we can pull off on that. Yeah, let's do this. Defense tiles memeing like a boss. That's that's great. Uh, problem, of course, being we can't do this forever. Especially since so this is coming to town. My target. We're not dying yet, so we can pick up this kill here. Can't quite do that, so we'll just buff up here. As you say, and we have ally support yes. with Fjorm, so we can be adjacent for some extra stats. This is gonna hurt a lot. She actually goes for Effie, which is kind of pog, <laughs> because um, she didn't want to take that damage, so that's great for us. We can just keep stalling. Luna is not great, for sure. We'll make it work. But yeah, this if we see ranged units, it's basically over. That's pretty much the name of the game here. I think we should be fine here. Um, we're just, we're just pretty much stalling here. We'll nom the Luna, I'm thinking. Wait, no, we don't, we don't even get the proc there. Um, let's see. Let's end turn then, because then Grima will definitely go after Baruka. So, there we go. Dragon skin, I think, there. If she I actually had dragon skin, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um... All right, we'll be back with the next match. All right, I don't like the fact it's the Chrom lead, but we're gonna go with it because it's not a range lead. Legendary Julia, darn it. All right, phone calls aside. <laughs> All right, this is definitely going to be challenging for sure. Uh, the big problem is Tiki is basically a magnet for a lot of these units, AKA probably three of them. So that's kind of a problem. We have defense tiles to abuse, but so does the enemy. And Julia, in this particular instance, for example, um, the problem is we can't have panic ploy and everything going out at the same time. So I'm going to assume, of course, that Julia is going to get the plus five from with everyone. So she'll have, uh, which, what's that? I'm so bad at doing math right now. <laughs> All right, so that's 27 on a defense tile. It's going to be 32, 76. And at most we can get 50, uh, 58, 63. Yeah, that's not, that's not happening. So we definitely need the panic ploy. Question is, how the heck are we gonna do that? And if we don't do this right, these two are just gonna say hello to each other, and that's also not gonna be a great time. Um, another option is baiting Julia. We will take damage, oh, quite a bit of damage, of course. Um, not, not liking that idea either. So if we debuff her down to 17 defense, then that'll be 22, so it's like she's not even on a defense tile. And then we can't get an adjacent unit, so that's equally bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, doubling, is that an option? Uh, everyone's there, yeah, I know. Um, 
Hmm, this is actually kind of tough. I will be back after thinking about it for a bit. Alright, I'm gonna take the super risky option and have Tiki with Baruka. Oh boy. The problem is we're getting buffs, so this can't this can't go very well. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> um So of course Divine Avert or that Light and Dark ignores those field buffs, and so the plan here is to get rid of Julia as fast as we can. Granted, that's not going to go very well, <laughs> uh, considering all the things that are going on here. We're just going to rally for just to rally. There's no real reason to do it. And now everything goes downhill really fast because these guys have armor march. Very little I could do to prevent that, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Well, moving Effie doesn't really hurt us in any way. Uh, hmm. That is definitely not great. We have to leave, um... Oh my gosh. I mean, we can keep Effie there. There's no reason for us not to. She's not getting one shot by Julia, not yet at least, um, with Glimmer probably. As you say. This is such a bad spot to be in. We don't have very many options here. Reposition is just going to keep kicking in, so this is really bad for us. Now we have the Glimmer here. This is probably just straight up a dead run. Uh, there's literally nothing we can do here. My target. Let's go. So actually, it was just straight up better to have Effie. <laughs> yeah, what, what, so it actually, if I could get Effie out of the way, then we would see a reposition. Yeah. We actually probably had a chance this match. I screwed this up. Oh well, rip. The thing is, I do need to get all the bonus kills, so dropping one is not an option. But here we go again. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to keep going till about, I don't know, 20 minutes or when the video is like 20 minutes long or whatnot. And then we'll just go, go from there. So we see no armor march. We see this Tiki here. Absolute terrible matchup for Baruka. Um... But of course, that's why we're stacking attack and all the buffs, so we can do some sort of damage ticky. So the idea is we're going to need yes. someone like Fiorm to chip. Problem being, we're probably going to do too much damage, so... <laughs> um, we might have to get someone like Tiki to do it, but uh, that's going to be tricky. Let's see here. I'm thinking we just... Yes. Do this, turn one, move this way. And so we're just going to engage Hector right away, as we can. It's an option. No, no armor march again. It's just, uh, actually we could definitely use Fiona Chip because we have chill speed going on there. That's great, for sure. We're just gonna do this. I think we will keep. Uh, we, well, let's. We need. We probably need the attack res bun, so for more damage. Yeah, we definitely need that. <laughs> um, let's see here. As you say. So as is, we're basically doing nothing. Um, it might just even be better to just wait. Like we can hold our ether off and bait here i'm thinking let's see here because we are as is tiki will get speed buffs so there's no way for fiona to double so you'll have 62 probably So, that's 18 times 2, 36. 
I think that's pretty good. I think that's probably our best option here. Oh wait, I put, I put Baruka, more attack and more stuff. Well, it worked out, but <laughs> I was, a, I forgot. Because I don't use ally support anymore. Like, well, not that it's like not any. Okay, d whatever. <laughs> um, that's fine. We'll we'll pick up the kill here straight up. It doesn't really matter if we bait or not. There's nothing cheeky going on here. It should be a pretty easy stall win at this point. Um. Yeah, we're pretty free to just chill here. Just start baiting quickly, rather than waiting. There we go. Yeah, it's just stall wars at this point, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Hmm. Yeah, in general, if it's matches like these, where it's all melee, have a decent chance. D defense tiles definitely help out in the matchups that are super annoying. But, uh. Let's do this. Pay with Sticky. Make things go a little faster. So, there we go. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah we, we need to roll pretty well here. Oh gosh. Or I could just make this all one video. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> and for reference, I started at like 888 crests, so we'll see where we end up at the end of the ridiculous run. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, some 48. Ooh boy, double surter. So, if you're wondering why I have brazen attack defense, it's because I don't have very many good options. I was thinking Fury, but I was like, the recoil, not going to help us out at all. And another reason is Mr. Surter. Um, because, of course, to a degree, we can just keep stalling him. So, Bethune, absolutely terrible matchup. <laughs> We're going to assume she's going to be um, buffed with Demonic Breath anyways. So... 57 defense, her absolute maximum attack, um, with Brazen is high enough to do a tiny bit of damage, but <laughs> it's really not a lot, so we definitely need Aether somehow. And there's Armor March on her, so that just makes things much worse. Something we could try, of course, is using Tiki for really quick chip. But she will not, Baruch is not doing that much damage, um, because if we're not in Brazen range, at most we get, uh, what is that, 69 attack, which is, I want to say 56, so we're doing base 0 if she's, <laughs> as Demonic Breath active, which is guaranteed, so we definitely need Aether there. Actually, we can use Effie as well, There's, we have, we have options. We absolutely 100% need ether. That is a huge problem because there's some rallies and stuff as well. But Athun herself does not have a rally, which is a giant problem. Um, it almost doesn't matter what we do turn one here because things go downhill really fast. So for example here, you might be inclined to bait Surter, which is a perfectly fine idea, but then we're gonna get the swap which makes things a lot trickier. So I'm kind of thinking right now, do you, do I still bait anyways? <laughs> oh no. Another option of course is to double bait, but I think we're just going to wait. And we can use the uh, forest tiles to our advantage to rig, if you want to call it that way, where, where they decide to attack from. So, we can guarantee that stuff. So there's the swap, like I said. So you can see how well this is gonna go. Oh my gosh. This is not great at all. We, of course, can't panic play with you, and it's not really an option. Um, 
Hmm. Super tricky matchup here. The key, of course, will be to break up the armor march. There's no way around it. Um, we might just have to go for the bait here. Because I don't think we're... Yes. Tiki's kind of in, in a bad spot as well. Of course. We don't get doubled. That's nice. Um, Guide me. Let's go. Thing is, she is going to attack from the forest tile. So... I'm thinking... Okay, that's, that's actually a big problem. Hmm. I want to get rid of the armor march, Orders, but... Wait, I don't even care about Panic Floy. What am I talking about? It's a Thune. <laughs> okay, that, that makes things a little easier. So, yes. she's definitely going after Baruka. That's not even a question. My um... I gotta chip somehow. Yes. Yes. Beats me how we're gonna do that. I'll, I'll tell you right now. We can guarantee the forest tile attack. That's not a problem. Actually, no. Interesting. Why did she go there? Uh, oh, because Effie. <laughs> the exact reason why. Oh, I'm goofing. I'm throwing this so hard right now. All right, now we're in a super bad spot. My oh my gosh. Orders. This can only get worse, can it? Um, my how the heck do we accelerate another yes. ether? How, how do you, what, like what? How are we doing this? All right, so what do we know? Once Effie gets attacked by Surtur, we're in trouble. Oh my gosh. What do we do here? Yes. Orders, please. Oh, if I didn't put Tiki there, this actually would have been better. Oh boy. So many mistakes. That's honestly probably what's gonna kill my runs, is just me being bad. <laughs> oh boy. We're gonna do this. This is not great. As you say. Yes. Yeah, this is definitely not great at all. Leaving Fiorm in range, of course, means Surtur is going after her. More than likely not. Um, if we don't, uh, we're gonna do this. That's risky as heck. We're just taking too much damage. Uh, I don't think we're winning this. Yeah. This is a lost cause. Rip. I think that's going to be it for this episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching the brain damage. As always, this is Eth Dragon. And hopefully this does not take that many arena videos. I probably won't post every single match, but I figured for the first few matches, might as well show the brain damage. Anyways, bye. <laughs>